Hello, Jo from Cranberry Beads here. Today we are talking drops. So these are all technically seed beads and these are drops and magatamas, various sizes and some different shapes as well. So I'm here to explain the differences. On the left we have the Miyuki 3.4 millimeter drops. These are the same. I've just uh, put two piles of the same bead out to highlight how different they can look in the different finish. This is the same shape drop, but it's the 2.8 millimeter one. So teeny tiny drops. The next two are magatamas. This is a three millimeter magatama and this is a four millimeter magatama. And on the right, these look quite different completely, but they are also called magatamas, but they are long magatamas. Very different. Yep, you can see the side profile there. So we won't talk too much about these, but I really do want to show you the difference between these drops and these drops. Okay, we've zoomed in a little so you can see the difference in the profile. The drops here, the Miyuki drops, they are round all the way round. I know that sounds a, a silly thing to say, but if you compare it to the Magatamas, these are much flatter. Yes, they're a drop, but you can see by this bead here, the side profile. They're quite thin on the side and they're more squashed. You can maybe see that a bit bigger on the um, four millimeter one. Yeah, so quite wide, but a bit narrower. Whereas these drops are round. Same as goes with these 2.8 tiny ones. They're round all the way around. These color lined ones are really interesting as well. Because the uh, the clear bit, the drop part of it, sort of kind of disappears onto the mat, doesn't it? But the, the lining of the hole is where the colour is. And I'll show you an example of how you can use that to best effect. But the Miyuki drops do come in quite a few colour lined colours. Um, some of them are clear with a colour line and some of them are a, a coloured glass with a different colour lining. These two pieces are using the 3.4 millimeter drops. This one here is the matte crystal. And that's in uh, one of the kits that you can get on the website. I want to be a butterfly kit. And that's paired up with some seed beads and some rizzos. Okay, so that's the drop there. And this piece was um, from a Sabine Lippert book. It's quite stunning, isn't it? Here you can see the drops being used. Yep. All the way around. Really lovely. They are great accent beads and they're also great in fringe as well. If you're into doing fringe, pop a little drop bead at the end of the fringe. This piece has some of the colour lined drops in it. So this is a, a, a Rivoli with a basic peyote bezel and I've embellished it all around the outside. So it's a clear bead with a gold lining. And it just emphasizes the gold. You can see it around here. And just uh, provides a nice sort of halo effect, really. So um, just some added detail, tying all the three different colors together. You can see the gold lining if you look end on as well. So they're really quite nice. This is a rope that I made. It's a twisted herringbone rope. It has uh, size 11s. And every other bead on the green twist 
is a Magatama. So the, they fit in quite well with this sort of work because they are um, they have a narrower profile, as I was explaining to you earlier. So that's quite a nice look there. It just adds a bit of a chunkier look and some texture to the rope. This bangle was very popular a few years ago. Um, it was on the front of beadwork and can't remember the designer's name at the moment. Um, if you drop a note in the comments, I'll find out and uh, pop it in. Uh, the dragon scale bracelet. It's made with size 8 seed beads on the inside and these are the long magatamas on the outside. Lots of fun. A chunky and textural piece. That's it for this video. If you would like to see all of the drops mentioned in here, they are under the seed bead category on the website and uh, look out for the different names as I've explained before. If you'd like to know what any of the colour codes are for any of these beads, drop a comment below and I will let you know. Thanks very much.